First off, what exactly is a DOT number? It's a unique identifier given by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Think of it like a social security number, but for your business. It's used to track safety information, compliance reviews, crash investigations, and inspections. In short, it's what keeps commercial vehicle operators playing by the rules and the road safer for everyone. Now, if you own or operate any commercial vehicles, having a DOT number isn't just a good idea, it's a legal requirement. Whether you run a fleet or have just one truck for interstate operations, you need this number. Without it, you could face hefty fines and other penalties, and nobody wants that. Here's something that surprises many folks. You can get a DOT number even if you don't own a truck yet. Yep, you heard that right. The FMCSA allows you to apply without owning a vehicle. This can be a game changer for those of you leasing or renting trucks. It ensures that every vehicle under your company's name sticks to FMCSA regulations. Let's walk through the process. First, you've got to register your business. This is basically setting up your business structure, whether it's a sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, or LLC. It's like getting your business its own identity. Next up is completing the MCS 150 form. This form can be a bit complex. It's like doing your taxes, but for your business. You'll need details about your business name, address, type of operation, and more. After the form, you'll need to file with a BOC3 process agent. This fancy term just means someone who handles legal documents for you. It's a federal requirement and ensures legal stuff gets managed correctly. But what about insurance? You'll need to secure some form of liability insurance to cover risks. Later, when you get your truck, you'll upgrade to cover things like cargo. Working with an insurance agent who knows the industry can help you find the best coverage. Staying compliant with FMCSA regulations is non-negotiable. Even if you don't have a truck yet, your business needs to follow the rules. This includes maintaining accurate records of driver qualifications, hours of service, and later, vehicle maintenance. Missing out on any of these can lead to big fines, so it's better to stay on top of it from the get-go. Now some of you might be asking, What's the difference between a DOT number and an MC number? An MC number, or motor carrier number, is necessary if you plan to transport goods or passengers for hire across state lines. So if your business involves moving stuff from, say, California to Nevada, you'll need both a DOT and an MC number. Lastly, getting your DOT number early has its perks. For one, it shows clients and partners that you're serious and already compliant with regulations. Plus, when you finally get that truck, you can hit the ground running without getting tied up in regulatory paperwork. FMCSA Registration is here to help. Visit fmcsaregistration.com or give us a call at 866-477-0707. We've got you covered. Until next time, stay safe and keep trucking.